What's up, OG Beauties? It's Mommy. And it's Corey. And as you can see from the title, today we are going to be doing the perfect ballerina bun. If I can insert a picture of me with it, then I'll do that here so you guys can see what is happening. Mm -hmm. That's in my nose. Girl. Um, okay, so yes, we're going to be doing the perfect ballerina bun. Um, I When I wear this bun, when my hair was longer, I got lots of questions. I would get stopped all the time at the store and people asking me how I do my bun, if it's a like a clip-on bun, and it is not. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this video. So as you can see, this is day three hair and I am just going to, she's going to be having a wash day tomorrow. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and do an updo. I do use hairspray in this. You guys do not have to use hairspray if you don't want to. That's a fair warning. So I'm going to go ahead and start turn off, by parting her hair in sections <laughs> just yeah. to wet it and comb it out. So I'm just going to take some water Ooh, a little bit cold, mommy. and then I'm going to just take a brush and I'm going to start from the end. I'm sorry, that's the worst part is the back of your neck. Once I'm able to comb smoothly through this section, then I just let down another section. And once her hair is completely combed out, I promise you the combing out of her of the hair is the hardest part. Not the hardest, but it's the most time consuming part. Um, the rest of it goes by pretty quickly. Um, for myself, this is one of my go-to hairstyles when I'm getting ready um, because it is so quick. So I'm just gonna take this same brush because I want it as smooth as I possibly can get it. I'm going to take the hair and comb it in the direction of like where I want the ponytail just so I can get out any naps and tangles on the way because you want it super, super smooth to get that sleek look. Okay, so what is actually easier for me, the easiest way for me, is I, without brushing or doing anything else right here, um, I need to secure the hair tie. Um, I don't like to do it like super, super tight. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna then add the gel and then brush and smooth um, on top of the gel. So the gel that I'm going to be using is the Eco Style Gel. So I do take this Eco Style Gel and I am generous. And I just go ahead and put it on. And on the back. And then I'm going to take 
cake. I do add some, the extras that's on my hand, I do add it to the ponytail. Um, you don't have to do that, you could definitely wipe it off, but gel's gonna be going in this part of her hair anyways. Um, so then I take a hard bristle brush, and I start to smooth it. Secure it, but this time I do secure it tighter. Much tighter. Okay, and so this is what her hair looks like so far. It's very sleek, very smooth all the way around. You don't have to do this step. I like to do it because, again, I do really like this super clean look so I do just take any flyaways and I take like a soft bristle brush and I brush up again just to super smooth anything this step is a step that I do use yes a lot of dance moms um, that are gonna be using this hairstyle um, for their kids or like gymnasts and you want the hold hairspray I do use hairspray on my daughter's hair only for certain hairstyles where I know we're gonna be going somewhere and she needs that hold because you know again she is a kid and I just don't like when her hair is messed up. Let's just be honest. You should don't get in my eyes. Sorry. If my eyes are gonna pop out. Your eyes are gonna pop out? Yeah. Okay. So then I take this the soft bristle brush again and I smooth out that hairspray. Because what my son said as at school the other day, um and when and when your mom spray First of you know, like your eyes just pop out and, and, and you can never see it again. So for this step, this is where the bun portion comes in. Um, this right here is the bun that I use. I have had it for years. Um, it is not, I did not buy it this way. It is a made donut. So this is out of, <laughs> this is out of some um, stockings. I cut the legs off and the toes off of the stockings and you kind of just put it on your arm and you just let it roll up. And then um, on top of it is a legging um, leg, which is this one. This is a legging leg. Um, and so this is, we just did all of the legs until we got the desired length that we wanted. So, or the desired size that, oh. So we just kept adding um, leggings and stockings until we got the desired size. We did stop using the tights, like the leg, the um, stockings, because the stockings do get very, very tight, and um, it's harder to put like anything in the middle of it. Um, so once you do get it, you're gonna have to try to stretch it as much as you possibly can, so that you can have a nice size donut hole here. So. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna take this donut hole. I like to put this, the fabric part down so that when I brush, this part doesn't brush up. So we brush this down. So I take this and I stick my hand as much as I can through that hole. And then I grab her ponytail and I pull it through the middle. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to find the center of her ponytail, kind of fan her hair around the sides here. And then what I'm going to do is take some more gel. around the 
bun specifically. And then the next step that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush and smooth out the hair. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any gaps. Your hair if you do have so there will be some pieces that are kind of like clumped together and when you brush it they don't fan out you could take a smaller comb and just kind of comb them to like make them flare I feel like that made no sense whatsoever So once you have it nice and brushed, you're gonna take a hair tie, just a regular little scrunchie, and you're going to push it. Ooh, this one might not fit. Push it right around and kind of tuck it under. And you see how we already have this nice donut bun here? And then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and look around, make sure there's no gaps. I don't see any, which is perfect. And so, this part is the part that I have a lot of people ask me about. If I have longer hair, what do I do? Some people um, are gonna like the style of it twisted. I'm not twisting hers, but some people will like the style of it twisted. Um, I personally like the style of shoving it. Like I tuck it under so you can't see it at all. We are going to see just how, I take a rat tail comb and I just kinda tuck it and slide it. And as you can see, just tucking it works really well. All I'm doing is just pushing this rat tail comb, pushing on the hair, and it just hides right underneath the bun. have a little gap right here and then what I will do is take this and comb it and get it covered now I am gonna take some more hairspray and spray just the bun portion they're not gonna be your friend anymore my son is crying in the background I'm sorry um, he's out there he got hurt he's with his daddy though I'm not ignoring my son 
Um, but I do have the bun here. I mean the, the bow and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and this is a bow headband for when she was a baby But I'm just gonna go ahead and just set it right Over This to look like a baby to you with this headband on and she Is all Done but she's all done super simple super easy perfect hairstyle um but yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe comment down below what you comment down below what you guys want to see next um and thank you guys so much super easy ballerina bun and don't forget it's popping girl it's popping girl